with all of you and I'm grateful to you for your coming, for your support, for your support, especially in regard to the sanctity and the example that you give us in regard to the sanctity of human life, especially in behalf of the unborn. We offer this man this morning and you for God's blessing upon all our efforts and knowing that through his power, through the power of the Holy Spirit, there will be a greater respect for the sanctity of life in our society through the good that you in particular are doing. So I want to thank all of you for your presence here. I look forward very much to being with you every year for this occasion. Extremely grateful to Father John Colbert for going to the great hospitality offering us beautiful St. Peter's Church. To Father Blow for all the efforts he does as the delegate of the delegate for pro-life festivities here in Flint County. And to all of you again for what you do. You are the backbone, the backbone of our efforts in this regard. I'm extremely grateful to you. Also, during this Mass, we're very privileged as we pray this Mass for the sanctity of human life. We're going to do it also in the context of receiving a man for casualty for the preacher. Bernie Menard, we have a man of our diocese who just graduated from one and told him we'll be meeting very shortly to go to Rome to study at North American College, Victoria University, who will be living at North American College. And he has to be installed in the Saturday for our holy orders before he begins to study. So Bernie is here this morning with his family, with his uncle, Father Menard, and many other members of his family. And we're going to install him right after the homily as a candidate for priesthood take place in our nation four years from now. It's a very fitting concept that we do in this context of the Mass of Life because the priesthood. Priesthood is all about giving the gift of life, about the holiness of life, and about being one who believes in the life of the Lord. So we begin as we always do in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Peace be with you. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, as we come together to say we thank God for the many blessings bestowed upon us, especially the blessing of life. We turn to now as we offer ourselves with this sudden mass, reflecting on our own failures and sinfulness, but relying on his grace and on his forgiveness, which he always holds out. Lord Jesus, we gather the nations to the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We come in word to strengthen us in holiness, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. We will come in glory and good salvation for your people. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may the royal sufferings of your saints, Clutchin and Polybus, fill us with your love. Make our hearts steadfast in faith. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is the with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord God said to me, Not rebellious like this house of rebellion, but open your mouth and eat what I will give you. It was then I saw the hand stretched out to me, and it was written, it was, it was a written scroll which he had unrolled for me. It was covered with writing on the back, and written on it was, Lamentation and Waiting and Woe. He said to me, Son of man, eat what is appointed. Eat this scroll, then go to the of the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and gave me the full feet. Son of man then said to me, Feed your belly and put your stomach in this world by the beginning. I ate it and it was the sweetest honey in my mouth. He said, Son of man, now go to the house of Israel and speak my word to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, How sweet to my taste is your promise. I'll see you in my face with your promise. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice, as much as in all riches. I'll see you in my face with your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my own thoughts. I'll see you in my face with your promise. For all your mouth is to be more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. I'll see you in my face with your promise. 
Because life is holy. It comes from God. From the moment of conception, the moment of conception, the womb of the body, precious gift of life is given to that person, that human person. And from that moment, that person is made in the image and the likeness of God Himself. That small, small, microscopic embryo is now created through the power of God Himself and the image and the likeness of God Himself as holy, as one who participates in God's sanctity. From that moment on, as that human embryo begins to develop to the moment it's born, and as that person goes through life, Faith is all the many ways in the home of life. And ultimately, that person comes to his or her conclusion of life in this earth. Every single aspect, every single moment of that person's life is a holy one, participating in the image and the life of God Himself. And that's what we believe. That's what we believe as Catholics. That's what we believe as believers in Jesus Christ. That life is good. It's good because God has given it to us. Life is dignity not from what we accomplish or what we do, or even does not lose its dignity because of our failures and our sins. That life has a dignity and life has a holiness and life has a goodness and life has a purpose because God purpose to his holy people. Not us. It doesn't matter how young the person may be from the moment of conception, nor does it matter how old or how infirm the person may be. Does it matter what the person accomplishes in life, what advances the person may or may not make? Standing for life in 
your day in history will have a greater respect for the sanctity of human life, especially in regard to the unborn. I respond to the Lord the our prayer. For our Pope, John Paul II, and our Bishop, Gerald Margarito, and all the clergy, that they may continue on wavering in their support of life for this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of the church may fulfill with joy their calling to proclaim, celebrate, and serve the gospel of life. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the family may become evermore the sanctuary of life where all are welcome as a gift rather than a burden. That all medical professionals involved in the practices of abortion, infanticide, human soul, and euthanasia may experience virgin of heart and mind and cease these activities. For this we pray. For all elected officials, that they may have the strength to courageously advance the protection of life and eliminate the evil of abortion, assisted suicide, and capital punishment. For this, we pray. For all who have had abortion, that Christ's love will give them strength to seek reconciliation in the church. For this, we pray. For all gathered here today, and all who work in the pro-life joyful witness that each human life comes from God, belongs to God, and is meant to return to God. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our brother, Bernard Bernard, may become the minister of the church who will strengthen the faith of his brothers and sisters by word and example and gather them together to share in the Eucharist. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sanctity of life and for your son's birth, who wishes to dedicate himself to your service and the service of your people in the sacred ministry. Bless him in your fatherly love, that he may persevere in his vocation and through his loving fidelity to Christ the priest worthy to carry out the church's apostolic mission. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the way we're going to turn it up to the fun generation of Father and Lord and Lord. We will follow in that footstep in the wonderful dream. And also, this is uh, Father and Lord's sister, Bernie's aunt, and uh, sister uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, the Betty's Father and Lord, who is with us. Wonderful example of that.
Thank you. 
something better than just grass. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the whether to choose life or death for her unborn child. Yes. Have the courage and the strength to pray, Thy will be done, and to choose life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes. 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 Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and now shall be, O Lord, Amen. Glory be Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the body of hell. Heal us, O Lord, and especially those who are most in the universe. Second 
sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Christ was scourged, his skin was torn, the pain was agonizing upon his innocent flesh. May we all recognize how terrible sin is, especially the sin of the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. with thorns. The crowning of thorns was done to humiliate Christ. May you never be afraid of human opinion, pain, or humiliation in our pro-life work. May we offer it up for the love of Jesus in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary for the conversion of the poor souls of sinners. Oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou.
by the time Jesus carried his cross, he was near total exhaustion. Yet he went on, giving totally of himself. May the Lord help us to go on our way with our pro life and effort, no matter how tired or discouraged we may be. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death.
Thank you very much. We appreciate you coming. Thank you very much. Don't forget to talk about being the warriors. 